It's exciting news for the people who hold this lake in high regard for the history it's already shared and what's to come. About 10 staff at Conservation Halton gathered to watch the announcement that it could be one of the Golden Spike sites. Now some attention is being turned to what it might mean for educational programming. Lots of thoughts around how we can interpret this new stage in the park's history through you know, exhibits that we develop in partnership with our Indigenous partners, um, new ways of communicating. Some of that communication could include scientific terminology, which may be new for many of us. But it's language that will explain the research, completed in cooperation with several post-secondary institutions. One of the researchers who was in Europe for the presentation is a professor of Earth Sciences at Brock University. Francine McCarthy is still overseas, but spoke about some of the research in an interview earlier this year. All of the experiments that were done on the sediments, the various kinds of measurements, show that 1950 is a perfect year to choose. It is where we see a sudden shift in sedimentation in Crawford Lake, which reflects the atmospheric changes globally. The research still needs to be considered by other governing bodies in the world of geology, and if it receives enough support, will then be considered by the International Union for Geological Sciences. Whether or not a new epoch is confirmed, Crawford Lake could still be forever marked in history. If the Anthropocene is added as an epoch, it will need a first age, and at present, the idea is to name that the Crawfordian age. Um, if the epoch uh, is not added, is there's still potential for the Crawfordian age to be added um, on the Holocene. No further research on this project is anticipated at Crawford Lake, but it will continue to fulfill Conservation Halton's goal of ensuring it's protected and available for future generations. It's amazing to me that we're now sitting in a moment where we can reflect back on that and say, look what, look what conservation can do. Um, look what it's given to the rest of the world. That's, that's a pretty amazing place to sit. Jason Trout for Halton News in Milton.